Welcome back and thank you for tuning in to the Dad Cave channel. On today's episode, I'm really excited to share this with you. We're going to be starting something new on this channel and it's called the $20 DIY challenge. I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about what that is in the video, but right now I got to get some supplies and I'm going to take you with me. So let's go. So the $20 DIY challenge, what is it? it? It is exactly what it says it is. It is spending $20 to build something cool. And there's no stipulation on what it is you can build. Anything you want. If you saw it on Pinterest, if you saw it on HGTV, if you saw it on your favorite home remodeling show, or you were out at somebody else's house, or you're out at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, any of those places, and you saw something and said, hey, you know what, I can make that. And I can make it less I can make it for less than what they're trying to get me to pay for it. That's the challenge. Try to make something cool, make something for yourself, and don't spend more than $20. Because if you're like me, you got bills to pay, you got family, birthdays, graduation parties, any number of expenses that come up, and it makes it really difficult to go out and create and, and make the things that you want to do. And let's face it, if you're in a DIY, if you have a DIY hobby like me, it gets expensive. Let's see if we can't start a safe and fun challenge. Not like all these other people out there starting these stupid challenges, the Tide Pod Challenge. What moron came up with that? Uh, help me out. Comment down below and tell me about some of the other stupid challenges there are. That's the first one that comes to mind. Who in their right mind thought it was safe to eat a Tide Pod? Good God, what is this one? So with that, I'm going to finish my cup of coffee, I'm going to head on home, and we're going to get this project started right now. Next, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to drill the um, the holes for the candles. And uh, I cut this piece to 18 inches, so we're going to place our first candle at nine inches, and then four and a half inches uh, from the center for the other two candles. So there'll be a total of three. So I got my drill press set up. We're going to do that. I'm using my two-inch Forstner bit, and I got my depth right now set to three quarters of an inch. So I should go just a little bit beneath the surface and allow the the tea light candle holder to actually sit slightly recessed into the wood. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now.
All right, so here we are. Uh, got my holes drilled for the candle holders and I had to go a little bit deeper on this, um, on the holes here. Uh, that was so that I could go in and take my chamfer router bit, go around the edge so that this way the candle holders would sit a little bit more um, deeper into the wood because the largest Forstner bit I have is two inches and that wasn't quite big enough for the candle holders, but made it work. They rest in there quite nicely, as you saw earlier. Um, add a little bit of detail to the edge. I went ahead and took my chamfer bit, went right around the edge, just give it a little bit of a round over, give it a nice look. Um, just clean, easy to, easy to look at lines. Um, I, I like it. So next I'll go ahead and put a uh, final sanding on this. I'm gonna sand it down to possibly about 120. I don't think I'm gonna go any further than that. And then uh, we'll go ahead and um, pull out the torch and burn this a little bit, add on the stain and uh, then finish. So we'll go ahead and get going right now. So here it is, the first project completed in the $20 DIY challenge on this channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a real fun time doing it. And it was kind of cool to go and use the leftover materials that I had or anything that was inexpensive to, uh, to go put this together. Uh, the only thing that I spent money on was the candles and that came out to a total of $3.71. So can't complain about that. Um, all the other pieces were left over, like I mentioned before, from other projects that I had. So it was really cool to use some leftover stuff that I had just laying around the house uh, to go and put it together and actually make it look nice instead of just laying around in my garage. So anyhow, so that's all for this video. I'm going to go ahead and get started on my next one. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and, and click on the bell so you enable notifications so you know when the next video is coming up. And also, Let's see what you come up with. I want to see your $20 DIY challenge. So make sure you get to get out there, build something, put something together. Again, the only challenge or the only, the only limitation is not to spend more than $20. Use whatever material you want, use whatever inspires you, um, but just get out there, build something, put it together for $20 or less. And please do me a favor, get onto Instagram and tag me on Instagram. It's Dad Cave Creations and also the on facebook the dad cave and make sure you hit it with the hashtag 20 dollar diy challenge 20 diy challenge I'll, don't worry i'll put all that in the description below uh, that we have links to all that information so with that i'm done i'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day i hope you do as well and i'm going to get started on the next project so once again get out there and build something today because dad said so Almost wrapped.